Hello, my name is Dr. Patricia Kolefka. I am presently an assistant professor at New York City College of Technology, uh, City University of New York, Department of Nursing. Uh, I am from Brooklyn, New York, and my area of study was public health, global health. My purpose of the uh, scholar uh, program was to study the use of information technology by nurses in the Lithuanian healthcare system and do a comparative research as to their use and the use of the nurses in the United States under the eHealth initiative. I have been working and meeting people in Lithuania since they uh, declared independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. So I met public health and health officials, and I knew them beforehand, but I wanted to study at Vilnius University because it was established in 1579, and it was one of the main universities in the country. In the past, I was at Kaunas Medical University. Um, I wanted to see how they advanced in their healthcare system. I was also studying uh, from 1991 until the present the uh, quality improvement and productivity measures they were instituting post-Soviet as a transitional country. So I uh, was able to gain entrance uh, knowing, uh, putting that in my letter of uh, inquiry. I conducted lecture and research. The lecturing was to the uh, nursing students, physicians, and already uh, practicing nurses and physicians and managers in the, in the hospital. In uh, my research, I gained entrance to the Ministry of Health and their technology uh, specialist uh, at, in Vilnius, in the main office. And I conducted interviews with various people within the ministry and the government and in the hospitals to see how they progressed. I saw a progression because they have been accessed into the European Union as of 2004. So they are getting uh, funding and resource, resources to do that, including professional development and human capacity um, improvement. I saw that the nurses were interested in new technology, new educational models, and I developed a, a faculty exchange that will uh, be initiated this June uh, 2009 between my college and the, uh, the college, uh, uh, the Countess Medical University College, Faculty of Nursing. So we intend to uh, do more research into uh, nursing education policy and education models, uh, which will help both uh, uh, establishments here and abroad. What I saw with research is that they are putting a national uh, e-health initiative in place just as we are in the United States. We are larger and we have different legislation uh, uh, guiding this and with different mandates. So it is different but I see some similarities, some, some uh, better uh, progression there as to uh, the home health care there. They are using a lot more um, technology uh, my uh, being a Fulbright Scholar uh, and my teaching in Lithuania uh, gave me an experience to bring back and uh, help use this uh, in a diverse community in uh, City University. Um, our, patient, our population is very diverse in our nursing students and being, uh, having a global focus helped me uh, better to communicate with them and teach them and to understand their issues. And I have written a book recently published in 2008 about uh, developing human capital and especially in the healthcare industry to develop human capital with the patients uh, or clients as we now call them along with the uh, provider community. Uh, I uh, used the same themes, same focus for the book and for my uh, Fulbright experience uh, carrying it forward to Lithuania and, and now I will uh, be writing other uh, articles and journal articles. Fulbright can help potential Fulbrighters uh, in giving them an uh, experience in another culture, 
um, and to become more independent thinkers in their capacity as a Fulbright uh, scholar or student. If a person is able to work independently, it will, it will, you will be able to work within the Fulbright uh, program. You have to be adaptable. And Fulbright sets you on uh, the, an independent course. And you need to be able to adapt and, uh, to different varying conditions within the culture in order to get a uh, invitation, a letter of invitation from uh, Lithuania. I can only say what I did. And since I focused on Vilnius University, which I found uh, on the web, the Fulbright web, I contacted the International Relations uh, uh, Department. And they were very uh, forthright and uh, issued me a letter of invitation. Junior faculty or faculty would benefit from the Fulbright experience by experiencing another culture. Maybe not of their own culture or a culture they're familiar with, but another culture. There are different issues, there are different needs, there are different um, cultural mores and norms that they might want to experience. I know that I did, and I was able to live long enough to experience a lot of the culture, which is a very good positive uh, outcome of a Fulbright experience. I would uh, encourage any uh, potential Fulbrighter to be perseverant in uh, completing the process and uh, making sure that they have a good understanding of the culture and the country and the history, religion, and other issues that uh, would affect the country. And be prepared uh, when they go, if they become a Fulbrighter. And we are, uh, according, we are to encourage a uh, mutual understanding between cultures. Well, it's a long process to apply for the Fulbright program. Uh, but if, it's, if you follow it on the, uh, the website, uh, you can uh, fill out a part of the form and then do some more research and fill another part of the form out. So you don't have to do it in one time. But when you do fill out the form, especially the purpose statement, do a lot of research and um, re reference your re research. Uh, put a good purposeful statement together and a good outline as to what you want to do uh, in, in your uh, Fulbright experience.